welcome to Lunch Club. Last week we talked about self-control briefly. Today I want to get more into that. Today I want to talk about the importance of self-control. Um, self-control means basically being able to stop yourself from unwanted impulsive actions or reactions. Today I mainly want to talk about it in regards to interactions with other people. Let's think about toddlers. When toddlers don't get their way or their needs are not met, that usually ends in tantrums of some sort. That can be seen in people of all ages. And when it comes to other people other than toddlers, that's basically a sign of lack of self-control. And it usually comes off as anger, and it usually results in some form of physical or verbal abuse. And then when that happens, when we display that I want to behave you towards another individual, we usually apologize. Most of the apologies usually sound like, I apologize, I was just upset, I didn't mean to say that, or do that, or I didn't mean what I said, but let me show you what that looks like to the person who you're apologizing to. Okay, so just give me one second. <clears throat> okay, so I'm the person who's having a problem controlling my emotions. This is the person who I take it out on, okay? So, I'm upset, so. You know, I done did my damage. Now, this is gonna be silly and I want you guys to do it too, so. Get a piece of paper, I want you guys to do the exact same thing that I just did. So, you know, it's been some type of interaction that you don't necessarily agree with, so this was your result, but, you know, we didn't mean to do that, so. Next, you know, I want us to apologize. So, you know, I apologize. I didn't mean to say that, like, I didn't mean to hurt you. I hope you can't forgive me. Okay, so we see our paper. So we done apologize. You know. All right. So now we done apologize. You know, think that we, you know, got the wrinkles out. But if you notice, the paper was straight before. I bought it up. So even though I apologize to the paper, you know, I straightened it up. Tell me what you still notice about this paper. It still has wrinkles. It's not back to its normal form. So, you know, even though the paper may have accepted my apology, those scars from my words or my actions are still here. Okay? So basically, I know that it's not easy for everyone and it's harder for others to can it's harder for others to control their emotions but I just feel like that's just something that we as people have to work on. I done basically kind of showed you guys how not having self-control can kind of affect the other people around you. Now, next week, I want to, you know, talk about some ways that we can learn how to have more self-control. So, if you have any ideas or if you struggle with self-control, I want you to write a question in the comments. Or if you're a person who feels like you have great self-control, I want you to let me know what you do to maintain that good self-control. Or if you're a person who, you know didn't have a lot of self-control in the past but now have better control i want to know what you guys did to help you so in my next video that's what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about not the problem that not helping self-control can cause but solutions so i'm open to all feedback i'll do you know my research if i get any questions it's not just going to be my opinion. I'm actually going to do my research, listen to other people's stories and how they overcame it. So, yeah, let me know. 
I'll see you guys next week. Have a good day.